What's up guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Before I get started here, I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Now, looking at the prices of various cryptocurrencies, as we can see, everything's in the red today. Uh, XRP is 29 cents essentially. Not a whole lot of action out of XRP yet. We're not that far away from swell. Bitcoin, well, if you were expecting Bitcoin to hit $16,000 by the end of the month, well, we've been disappointed. Which, you know, who, who was really expecting it? I don't think many were. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Christine Lagarde assumes duty as European Central Bank President. All right, I don't know why the picture didn't come up, but anyway, I think, yeah, I got it blocked. But anyway, <clears throat> so she has now taken over her position as of uh, November 1st. Um, I don't know if anyone's really expecting anything to happen, but either way, uh, this is the case, and um, we'll just see how everything goes. So much back and forth about um this and what it means and things like that I, you know it, it's going to be interesting to see how this all turns out and what she ends up doing and, you know was she placed in there by certain groups you know we'll see all right so next ripple price to go ultra bullish says analyst as justin bieber runs on ripple on instagram all right so yeah here it says the contents, the FOMO will be something we've never seen before. Well, that is definitely yet to be seen. Investor sells 4.5 million XRP over strong belief. Hmm. And then Justin Bieber runs a ripple. All right. So Crypto Wilson says he's ultra bullish on ripple. Last year, it's been fairly stagnant and been in the accumulation phase with so much news and partnerships. This thing is ready to launch. The FOMO will be something we've never seen before. Who's ready? Now, this is the thing. Uh, in my mind, I mean, there's going to be FOMO out of this world. I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I think we've all gotten very much accustomed to being uh, disappointed. I just don't see a reason for major FOMO if we have not already seen it. I don't want to be. Uh, you know, a Debbie Downer or anything like that. But <laughs> uh, the thing is, um, yeah, I just I kind of don't see it. I, I don't see what the catalyst will be. You know, that's just me. Um, we've had so much good news, so many things happening um, to trigger FOMO. I, I don't know. I don't see that. Now, is there a reason like he's saying here uh, recently Ripple indeed indeed took some big steps to reach new milestones for its expansion. Many new banks and payment systems are signed up to the RippleNet, <clears throat> including PayPay in Japan, with its 10 million users and 1 million merchants. Ripple also acquired a large stake at MoneyGram and launched on-demand liquidity. Now, in this case, um, I can see possibly an increase due to you know, it's usage, but as far as FOMO, I don't know. If it hadn't happened already with all of the, you know, news articles and things like that, with Brad Garlinghouse going on to uh, CNN and, oh, was it CNBC? Either one, uh, talking to the young lady. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I kind of don't see it. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Investor sells 4.5 million XRP over strong belief. Now, this guy right here, I had uh, tweeted a couple things about, you know, Told, just ignore this this guy right here. I, I don't. I never uh, was very um, warm to this guy right here. Whoever this person is, uh, he essentially now whether he did sell 4.5 million XRP or not, I don't know. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't. We don't have his uh, his uh, wallet address or anything like that that I know of. So I guess there's really no way to to verify it, but either way, he really just came out and showed his colors. I mean, there were a lot of people already saying that he's uh, definitely a scammer. Uh, in fact, someone I think it was uh, Be Brave was uh, saying that uh, he actually 
tried to get him to send uh, send him some Bitcoin, I think it was, uh, but you know for you know whatever service he was supposedly providing, I guess trading service or something like that. But he ended up not doing so, which was definitely wise. But so, all right. So and finally, Justin Bieber runs on Ripple. The Bank XRP user uh, has posted a video that he says he came across on the official Instagram account of Justin Bieber. In it, Bieber is running along popular tourist locations and his running figure is embedded embedded into some famous movie scenes such as Pirates of the Caribbean and Train Spotting. Yeah, Train Spotting. The phrase runs on Ripple is clearly seen on the video. I'm not going to play the video, but it was kind of funny. So as it says here, Ripple's X Spring initiative is investing 500 million in Justin Bieber, manager Scooter Braun, and blockchain cap and others looking to find new uses for XRP cryptocurrency. So, okay, uh, I think that was all in here. Now guys, one thing I, I wanted to just put out there, I know we are, you know, and I've even made mention to this, but Swell, let's be very, um, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't wanna say don't be optimistic about what's, what could happen, just be ready for nothing to happen. Okay. Uh, we've, and, and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that nothing could happen or anything like that. But traditionally, we have gotten nothing but disappointment when it comes to, you know, situations like this. Um, there will likely be announcements or, you know, things like that. But guys, who really knows about Swell? Not, you know, the public doesn't really know about Swell. They're going to be, uh, well, I'll say people that are there that will be attending, that knows about it, will be watching and all of that are the same people that, you know, in the crypto space right now that's into XRP as we speak. So I don't see where um, we would see anything happening um, as far as the price goes when, when Swell. And I'm just being, you know, just completely realistic here. Uh, of course, I want the price to go up. But, you know, let's just be prepared for nothing to happen, right? Um, whether there is some type of manipulation or not, it doesn't really matter, okay? Why the price is not moving, it doesn't matter. The fact is the price is not moving. So we have to be prepared just in case, right? Now, I, I kind of expect that there are going to be some really uh, good announcements during Swell. Uh, I really hope so. I, I I can't see why they would invite uh, YouTube content creators and you know Twitter guys or folks uh, to the uh, to the event. But other than that, I, I don't expect the price to move anywhere. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, there are many other uh, factors that could possibly move the price. I've even gotten information <clears throat> that if true. The price should have already moved. Okay, that's the reason why. The reason why I say that there's manipulation going on, I'm not just pulling that out of my hat. Okay, there's a reason why I believe that is possible. Okay, some of the information that I get that I just I don't share uh, on a public forum like this is uh, you know is what's telling me that it could be possible. Now, you know that's why I'm saying if true, if this information is true. The price should have already mooned, right? And and if uh, honestly, if you knew what I was talking about, and like I said, and it's true, I mean, it would be groundbreaking, okay? Absolutely groundbreaking. But again, uh, this was supposedly uh, ha this supposedly happened earlier this month, and despite that. The price is still at 28 cents, 29 cents, whatever. So just saying, guys, um, let's keep our heads and our wits about us and get through the whole event. And let's just hang on. I mean, if you're, you know, if, if you're here for the long term, who knows what long term is? I mean, the, then you're fine. If you're look, looking for quick gains, it may not happen. I, I, you know, nobody knows. That's the thing. I've, I've had so many, uh, you know, predictions come my way 
and every one of them have been smashed. You know, so <clears throat> let's just, like I said, let's just keep our wits about us. Let's, you know, keep our eyes on the prize and get to that location, get to that goal. Uh, it's coming. It, I believe it will happen. Um, when it might happen is anybody's guess. So, all right, guys, like I, I hate to, uh, you know, seem as though I'm, I'm, I'm kind of coming down or, or whatever, uh, not being optimistic or however you want to look at it. That is not the case at all. I am very optimistic. I am very bullish on XRP. But like I said, historically, we have seen nothing but disappointment when there should have been something happening. So, yeah, I, I'm just uh, just letting you know we could get disappointed again. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as like button and the post notification button. So, you know, when I post it again until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless you.